Hi everyone, this is Jamie and I'm here to give you an overview of the Aries Parent Portal. This video will walk you through creating your account that can be used all year, and also how you're going to complete the registration forms due next week for 7th through 12th graders, and the first week of school for 1st through 6th graders. The purpose of the Parent Portal is to have access to update content information anytime during the school year, and also check on attendance records. We have a revised attendance policy this year for all schools. Please review this in the portal once your account is created. Also, this portal will allow us to digitize the form collection that happens during the summer for 712 and during the first week of school for elementary. When you complete the process, you will print a new emergency card and send it to the registration or orientation with your 7th through 12th grader or on the first day of school with your 1st through 6th grader. New this year, once online registration is complete, we will release teacher assignments for 1st through 6th grade. Kinder placement cards will be mailed home. As this is a new process, we want to help you successfully complete the account creation and online registration process. Please watch this entire video before starting. This will help you avoid a few common pitfalls that we discovered during our beta test last week. If after watching this video, you may decide that you'd rather come in and get help in person, and we have four on-site opportunities that I will list at the end of this video. But I encourage you to try this at home, and if you get stuck, I'll have a way for you to log your issue and get a call from us. Again, if you go slow and read what's being asked of you, you'll be fine. Again, students in 7th through 12th grade will still participate in on-site registration orientation. They must bring the printed and signed emergency card after you complete the data confirmation process. If you cannot print at home, you can come to the high school and either complete the process or just log in and print. All right, so we're about to get started, but again, here's a quick overview of the process. First, you're going to get an email from me with the pieces of information needed to create your account. Parents can each have their own account, but only one person needs to create the data, complete the data confirmation process for registration. So again, even though multiple parent accounts can exist for each student, only one person needs to do the data confirmation and print the emergency card. You're going to create your account and link your students to your account. You're going to receive an email confirmation from LCUSD online to confirm your account. After it's created, you're going to go through the data confirmation process. That process has seven steps, including a resident survey, demographic review, contact updating, medical updating. You're going to read all the required forms, authorize a few things, and then final data confirmation. You'll finish that by printing, signing, and returning the emergency card. But first, let's walk through creating your account. You're going to visit abi.lcusd.net forward slash parent portal. Click on create new account. You can also choose the language if needed. You're going to choose parent role and then hit next. On this screen, this is where we have our first speed bump. So listen carefully. This is where things get tricky. You're going to use the email address that you want to receive communication from the school with. This will be the primary way, again, to receive communication from the school. Please don't use a spam email for this account. Record the email and password someplace safe. And again, don't share this with your students as they could log in and change how communication comes to you. So keep this just for you. Once you enter your email address, you're going to receive an email from LCUSD online. I'm going to show you what that looks like on the next slide. In this email, you're going to click to confirm the email. If the links don't work in that email, there is a confirmation code, but you're not going to do both. You don't need to confirm and use the confirmation code. You'll use one or the other. Let me show you what the email looks like. This is from LCUSD online. You'll see here, confirm this email address. So if it's sent to the right email address, you'll get this and you'll confirm it. If that link doesn't work, that's when you'd use this code down here. So once again, most of you are going to be able to hit confirm this email address and you're done. If that doesn't work, use the code. Here's the screen. So after you have confirmed your email address, you're going to see this screen. If you've confirmed it, just hit return to login page. If, you did, if it didn't work, enter the code and hit next. You should see something like this when you're successful. Click return to login page. This time, enter the email address and password you just used. You also can again adjust the language. Now it's time to link your student to your account. You need the three pieces of information from my emailed letter. The student permanent ID, which is a seven to nine digit number that you might not have seen before, but it will be their primary ID soon. You'll need your home telephone number 
or what we have recorded as your primary telephone number. So check this from the letter. And again, it may be a cell phone number, but it must match on the letter. And here's speed bump number two. Some of you have used different phone numbers when registering your children. So you'll be able to fix this, but use the number that is listed with that student. Look closely at the letter if you get stuck. And third, you need the verification code that's in the letter. Enter those and hit next. If this doesn't work, check all three numbers very carefully. Again, if you're still stuck, use the web address up above and you're gonna log your issue. We'll get back to you very quickly with the resolution. After you've linked your student, you're gonna indicate what your relationship is, uh, mother, father, or other guardianship, and hit next. And that's it, your account's created. If you have other students to link to your account, please click the add another student to your account button. Otherwise, you're gonna click on the home button that you'll see in the top left-hand corner, and this returns you to the main parent portal. And I'll give you a quick tour of this and an overview of what the data confirmation process will be. So after adding all students and hitting the home tab to get to this screen, you're gonna use two sections this year. The attendance dropdown, and you'll also see attendance summary here. And then the second thing we're gonna be doing is data confirmation, which is the blue bar here. You can also find that under student info. So anytime during the school year that you need to change contact data, log into the portal, click student info, and you'll be able to see data confirmation again. This is what that dropdown looks like. So let me walk you through in 10 second detail the overview of data confirmation, and I have a second video prepared to go, to go through that in greater detail. So data confirmation has seven steps, state required residency survey, demographic review, contact and medical updating, including adding your doctor's name and insurance info, making note of any medical condition changes. You'll read all the required forms, typically seen during registration and first week packets. You'll authorize a few things, and then you'll have final data confirmation. After that, you're gonna print, sign, and return the emergency card. So we have a one-page guide for you. We have a, a multi-page color PDF, or you're also gonna have a data confirmation video uh, choose the format that's best for your learning style. If you would rather do this in person, we have four opportunities for you to come in. So if you get stuck on either account creation, data confirmation, or you just want general supervision, you can come in during the week of um, August 2nd, and we'll see you from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can come in on the 3rd from 4 to 8, on the 5th from 12 to 6, or on Saturday the 6th from 12 to 5 p.m. Another option is just to fill out this help request. Anything you get stuck on, um, fill it out and we'll come, we'll, we'll respond and, and call you back. All of these will be located in the IRC at the high school. You can also visit the website to see all of these resources, including some color PDFs that will walk you through step by step. I really wanna thank you for your support as we update our process. You're going to complete the next step of data confirmation after watching that video, and you're ready to go to start the school year. Thank you.